If the start of the State A Legion Baseball Tournament is a sign of things to come, it's going to be a wild and unpredictable week in Mitchell. Yesterday, Yankton stunned defending champion Rapid City Post 22 4-1, setting up a rematch of their Region 2A championship with Brandon Valley last week, a team they beat by a that beat them by a combined score of 13-0, but in two games, but this was a different story. Miles Cardo with a sack fly in the first. That'll make it 2-0 yanked, and nice slide there to get out of the way. Brandon would respond as they would add one in the bottom of the third and tie the game up in the fourth as Cole Siegfried answers him with the always thrilling sack fly, but in the postseason gets the job done. And just like that, we have a tie game. After four innings, Yankton would take the lead back in the sixth. Ethan was Sean up the middle. Yankton taking a 3-2 lead, heading to the home half of the fifth. But that's when Brandon Valley comes alive, turning on the offense as Siegfried finds some space and pokes it through. Brandon Valley leads 4-3 going into the seventh. Last chance for Yankton. They're down to one of their final outs. Bases loaded for Michael Drotsman. He bounces it through the hole. Two-run score. And that would be the difference in the game. Yankton stuns Brandon Valley 5-4. Their tournament run continues. They are into the semifinal tomorrow. They'll get the winner of the next game between host Mitchell and Renner. And Renner would get things going right out of the gate early as Will Washenberger finds a space up the middle and grounds home a single to bring home a run as Renner quickly goes up one to nothing. And to add a statement of his own is Ray, Ma Renner's Mason Runya. He would strike out a couple batters in the first, and the home team would have to sit on it. But Renner would strike again in the top of the fifth. DJ Stuckel grounds one to the second baseman. It's going to work and get home a run, and that makes it two to nothing. And looked like that was going to hold until Mitchell rallies in the sixth inning, getting a score to make it two to one. And then Kobe Larson will tie things up with a base knock. And they're still tied right now, 2-2 in the eighth inning. We'll have an update online for that one on KDLT.com. Now, 